Hey everybody, it's Miles from Expired Film Club here. Thank you for joining me for another video on YouTube today where I will be answering the most common question I get on my videos on social media. Why not just use a phone, bro? So welcome along to another video here on the Expired Film Club channel. Thank you so much for joining me once again today. Uh, if you're new around here, please subscribe. We're very close to 2,000 subscribers on the channel now, which is awesome. Uh, and if you find the information in this video helpful, then uh, do drop a like and leave a comment as to whether you're a film shooter or whether you just shoot on your phone or something else. It'd be great to hear from you down there. But on to today's video topic, and that is phone versus film camera. Um, now, like I mentioned, I get this comment all the time on my social media videos. Uh, I think it's probably the most common question I get asked, to be honest, is yeah, but why don't you just use a phone? And I think it's quite a complicated answer, really. Uh, there are many different levels as to why I don't. Obviously, a phone like this one I've got here, uh, you can see my dog Monty on the background there, um, is extremely convenient and you walk around with it in your pocket or bag basically the entire time. And we've got a very nice camera that you can literally just whip out of your pocket or bag and take a photo as you're going along. Uh, film camera, on the other hand, obviously you've got to load it with film. You've got to then send the film out to get developed or develop it yourself. You've got to scan it in. It takes a long time. It's not nearly as instant as your phone, but for me, it's always just worth it with film. So if you're watching this video in 2023, you may have heard that Kodak are once again increasing the prices of film as of March, which is extremely annoying and it makes it even more prohibitive for people to start shooting film or to continue shooting film uh, to me. And so I guess if you're watching this, you might be sort of thinking, maybe I should cut down on my film shooting a bit less in 2023. But there are ways of getting into film a little bit more cheaply. For example, you can shoot black and white film, which traditionally is less expensive than color film and also easier to find and that helps on the costs and stuff like that. You can bulk roll film, you can start to develop from home yourself, get lower res scans, all that sort of thing. Uh, or you can just use a little disposable or a point shoot camera like I'm going to be using today. But for today's video, I thought it could be a little bit of an experiment. I'm basically going to go out with this point and shoot camera. This is an Olympus MJU2 and my phone, which is an iPhone 13. This is the phone that I use to film all my content on social media and stuff. So if you've seen my videos on TikTok and Instagram and things, I literally just use this phone strapped to me on a chest mount to take all my videos. It's got a lovely camera for a phone and this is a very lovely point and shoot. The reason I'm using a point and shoot over something a bit more complex is just, I just think it gives the closest comparison to what an iPhone is because it's something that's going to read the scene and automatically adjust the settings, the focus and everything like that. So I'm going to take these out with me and shoot some identical photos and we're going to see a back to back comparison of how they both come out and you can be the judge of which one you prefer. Okay, so I'm here in the middle of the woods. I've got my film camera in one hand and I've got my phone in the other and I'm going to do a little shootout between the two to see which results you like the best. So I'm going to put to bed once and for all why you should shoot film over just using your phone, but we'll see. Maybe you'll like the results from the phone better. Obviously, this is a much more convenient way of uh, snapping photos when you're out and about, but I just feel like the quality and the experience you get with a good old film camera can't be beaten. So I'm going to take photos with these two in the exact same situations of the exact same scenes here in this woods in the Oxfordshire countryside, and we'll see which one wins.
So that was it then. Film versus phone. What did you prefer? My iPhone 13 or my Olympus MJU2 loaded with some Kodak Color Plus? I mean, I know obviously what I prefer and it's this bad boy right here. Uh, I just love what you get from film and I love the experience basically of just shooting film, loading it, feeling so involved. And I developed the roll at home myself as soon as I got back from shooting it, scanned it in and those are the results that you see on screen. Obviously a phone is incredibly convenient and it does take remarkable photos for something that just fits in your pocket and for something that's got such a tiny sensor as well. But I just didn't edit the photos at all coming out of the phone or out of the scans that I got from the film camera. So you hopefully got a pretty honest comparison of how they compare to each other in the same situations. And uh, well, let me know in the comments which one you prefer and will you continue shooting film or start shooting film in 2023? If you would like to, you don't know which film camera you'd like to choose. I have a video that I put out a couple of weeks ago uh, that recommends all the different types of film cameras and why they might suit you. And if you're gonna carry on shooting on your phone and not film, let me know why in the comments because I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, that's just about it for this video. Thank Thank you so much for watching. Remember, I upload a video every two weeks. Uh, you'll expect a video from me here on YouTube. Uh, loving producing content here, so I hope you're enjoying it as well. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated. And we're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers for this video. So if you could hit the subscribe button as well, that would be absolutely amazing. Also, check out all my socials. Links are all down in the description of this video. And if you're watching this video, you also get a special cheeky 10% discount off my store. So uh, go ahead and make the most of that. The code is in the description of this video as well. You can buy it yourself a film camera or some expired film or some accessories from my store. The link for that is in the description as well. But that concludes this video for this week. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I will see you here on the channel very soon indeed. This is Miles from Expired Film Club signing off for today. See you later.